friends so welcome back to my channel i am doing a video today as part of the tape runner design team i love the feel of this little pink guy in my hand now i tend to have puny hands and sometimes things feel rather big and chunky and these do not so i will be using both of these i don't think on this one, just due to my color palette, I don't think I'm using these bizarrely cool highlighter tapes. Guys, Bible journaling, if you do planning, any of that, these don't have any bleed through. You need these in your life. But I'm putting them right here on top of my desk in the event that I do or do not need them. So what I'm going to do is scrapbook this photo here of my son. This is so cool. This mask that he's wearing, one of his coworkers, he's in like a team of eight, I think. And one of his buddies, who's his coworker, equal peer kind of thing, brought in a mask for each of the workers. I can't even say guys, it's guys and girls, but for each of the coworkers. And the mask that he gave to each of them is the one that he thought was most like their personality. So he brought my son a very Americana kind of mask. So when I saw the picture, I'm like, all right, what do I have that works with this? Because it's so specific, right? Well, I have this from the scrap room. It's one of their flavors of the month kits. It wasn't for August. I think it's July. I'm not quite sure. And Rochelle at scrap room was ever so kind to send me these great goodies. So I thought that, seriously, I don't know if anything would match this better. This is all I have left from it. Gosh, I love the air balloons, but I also like this. Hmm. Okay, well, I know I have to use this side, so I think I'll use air balloons. And part of the kit, too, is there is these pinwheels. I'm going to try to work them on there. That was part of the kit. And the other thing I have from the kit are just a few little tiny little blingy bits. So I'm going to make sure to get them on. I'm sure I'll bring an ammo dots or mist or who knows what. I don't have a plan yet. Now, since I don't exactly have an alpha sitting here, I went into my ridiculously large thicker stash and I said, I wonder, I didn't even know these were in there. I said, I wonder if I have red glittery alphas because red glitter works for the 4th of July for me. Look at these. These are like absolutely perfect for this. Love the font. I like that they have these little deedly bits, like, you know, like the little stars and stuff. We've got a year. I can throw 2020 on. So this is what I'm going to create with. I'm going to trim this out. I have no idea beyond that how this layout is going to go. I mean, sometimes it can be really nice when you don't have a lot of options because your scraps are so small that you just go with what you have. What I do know is that this is my background because I don't have a full sheet. So I might cut this down, see how that looks with it, and then play with it a little bit, and I'll come back in a minute. Alrighty, my friends, nothing is adhered down in any way. One of my pieces of paper was cut on an angle, so I thought I would go with it and let that guide design a little bit, if that makes any sense, who knows. So I liked that, right? So then I decided to go ahead and do the same thing down here. This is this uh, kind of red plaid paper that just has this bright design on top. Then the leftover piece, I just straightened out a bit. I'm gonna tuck that under the red so you can see the different patterns. And then this really cute paper here with the uh, hot air balloons. I just trimmed a nice little notch off the top so that you can see red beneath it. So that's as far as I know with that. I have this. I might go ahead, since I do have a little bit of red cardstock left, I think I'm gonna go ahead and map my photo with that Knowing me, I'll pop it up on a little foam because I can't help myself with that. I love my dimension. And then I'll come back once I figure out what my title is. And when I find some enamel dots or mist or something to go from there. So I think this is going to be super quick because I had such limited supplies, which I do like when I get to have limited supplies because it has a way of making it easier to scrap sometimes. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Oh my gosh, on my desk, I just saw these from a Christmas line and they are deep red glitter. I'm gonna include them as well. Look, at that's pretty much how I choose supplies. What's closest, what match ish, -ish and we go from there. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Hey, really quick, I wanted to pop in 
Right now, I keep going back and forth between my two little tape runner guys because I like it. <laughs> so I wanted to pop in. I just used this just now, chest, I can't speak, testing it out on these foam bits. And so, you know, it goes on ever so nicely on the back of craft foam. You know, some things just don't, like my ATG does not cooperate for that. So big win here, thought I'd show you, going back to coming up with my design. All right, I don't have these little guys stuck on, but I thought I would go ahead and do that with you. I think they're so cute. I actually had to look up how to fold something into a pinwheel. Just could not remember for the life of me. So I'm just gonna kind of put that on the seam. No big thinking there. Now this blue one, my thought was that I needed more blue up here. So that's as far as that process goes. And I think it adds quite a bit to that upper part. Now I found, or I came up with my title, which is just gonna be Mask Up America. And I'm thinking right here where it's bringing this pinwheel into the cluster a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and come back when I get to put on all of my fun little decorative bits. Okay, so now we're just in the home stretch with the decorative bits. Let me show you where we are right now. First of all, thumbs up to foam alphas that you don't have to put additional adhesive on. So all my pieces are down. My photo has a nice little pop up. So we have a little dimension there. And yes, I know there are patterns with patterns with patterns and that's kind of my thing. So I like that. Now, the only other thing I was making sure to get on were these little gem bits. I did show you that I found these stars. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can use all of the red stars up and I can also bring in the silver stars. That might be a fun idea. Now, the other thing I was looking at that I really liked the idea of was bringing in also some of these brighter blue gems. These are just from Tuesday morning. So let's see, let's get some of the big things on here first. Now these are not super sticky. They're sticky, but not super sticky. And I think these came in something from Secret Not Secret Kit Club from Christina. I think they were from a Christmas line or something like that. It makes sense to me that they were. All right, so let's go ahead. I only really have two clusters, so I might only have the two areas where I have this going on. Because I really don't feel like putting a bunch of ticket punches. You know how I do all these punches all the time? I don't really feel like that's super necessary on this because I have these big chunky pinwheels. So I might just keep it on the diagonal, those kind of pieces, and just use two, which is fine. All right, so I have big, let me go a little bit smaller with this silver one. And yeah, let's do that. So we have lots of good sparkle. I feel a little bad that I'm going over the face on this little hot air balloon. And yes, these hot air balloons do indeed have faces. This is one of those things I like to do just to give a little extra oomph is get a little adhesive behind those things that aren't as sticky as I've decided that they should be. All right, let's get some of these deeper blue gems on. Oh, people ask me why I always cut on the right side so that when I grab something, I know I can always pull it out of the right side. And I am terrible at taking off the packaging and getting stuff back in. It's just not for me. So yeah, it's an odd little thing possibly that I do, but I do it. All right. So it's kind of like a little red, white, and blue cluster. So cute. Okay. I have that. Now, Believe it or not, this looks super plain to me and it's making me wig out a little bit. All right, I wanna make sure to get a nice little amount of these gems in the clusters. And yes, I know you won't see it quite as much. Oh gosh, it's missing. In these little cluster areas. Oh, here it is. It was missing, but I really wanted to use these up. Let me connect that little piece by having a gem right there. Now, is that enough? Is it not? Is it good? Does it want more? I definitely think I need to do a little mist coming down, even though I have pattern with pattern. I definitely think I do 
I won't be using red mist because it tends to look like a crime scene in my opinion. Now, I like the little red rhinestones. I have one, two, three rhinestones here. I have a whole configuration of them there. I kind of feel like I need to build out the rhinestones just a little bit more, a tiny bit of a different color of them. Not that it's a different color, but a little bit more of the red. Bumped it up a little bit. So what I think I'm gonna do now is find some mist that will work with this. I'll be right back to do the misty part and we will be all done. Give me one second. Okay, my friends, I'm giving my mist a really good shake. Looks like I'm using a Distress Stain in Blueprint Sketch. Don't know that I've ever used it. And a vintage Mr. Huey's in silver. So the thing I do know about Distress Stains is they're super stainy. Like, watch where you get it because that's where it's gonna be. So there we go. I have a little something going on there. And I have my photo protected a little bit with some packaging. My thought is to be kind of on the diagonal with it without being too precious about it with just a little bit of this bright blue. And no, you don't see it, see it because of the pattern that I have going on here. But I know it's there and you know it's there. So that works for me. All right, so we have Mr. Huey's in silver, like I said. Now this isn't like a glaring silver, like if it were like a Heidi Swap silver, like you would see it like crazy. And when it first goes on, you get a lot more of a black cast to it or a charcoal color cast, but it definitely starts drying with a more silver vibe. Now this is interesting. So the Distress Stain, is staying wet a lot longer than the uh, mist that I am used to using. Interesting. Not good, not bad, just interesting. Alrighty, that is that. Let me show you what I have with this layout. I am pretty yippy skippy with it considering I decided to start using product that I didn't have a whole lot of but I think that, A, it is my style. I've been told I have a style. I didn't know that. I think it's my style, and I think that anytime you can actually use up a kit, it is so awesome. So I'll be able to put just this little red piece of cardstock into my scraps. And these pieces, I'll leave on my desk for a day or two, and if I don't use them, well, this I'll use. Things like this, a little tricky. You know, they're so specific, but I can consider that little mini kit killed and I like this. I hope you like it too. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll leave a link to where you can get your tape runner adhesive, which I am digging so much. This one's cool because look at this. See how the adhesive is out, everybody? Ooh, it's retractable. I am beyond amused with this. It feels like when you're like a little kid, and I know I'm ASMRing people right now, but it feels like when you're a kid and you play with a big pen or like a little pen doing that. Anyway, love these things. Hope you love them too. And questions or comments, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye friends.